what you feel like is more influential to culture, music or movies? Music. Music. Why you feeling like that? That was fast. I don't, I don't agree with you, but I'm going to let you say what you say. I thought you should go further. Tell me why. I you. feel like movies more influential because, like, a lot of words and stuff come from movies that, like, people don't even know. Like, the Mac. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody was calling themselves a Mac before then. You got to think about how Bloods and Crips spread it all over the world based off the movie Colors. A lot of people will be like, no, we was doing this before Colors. No, you wasn't. That movie came out in 88, 89. And I'm saying that spread it globally. I'm saying people go off what they see. And so, like, I remember I was in the studio a long time ago when a dude said something to me. He was just like, man, you got to get down and lay down. And I was like, I thought that was the coolest shit. They say, you know, I end up watching State Property. I'm like, that man got the shit from State Property. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like movies, whether you know it or not, sometimes, you know, you might be doing something. You don't know that it came from a movie because you got it from somebody else. Yeah. But they didn't got influenced by the world. The world I, is the I, world I, is I think, Now that I'm thinking about it, you got a little time to think. It's damn near probably equal. Mm. It's probably the same. So it's like people just doing what they hear and see. For sure. So I think it's probably equal. But I'm saying even so look at Pooh Shiesty. He ain't got no move out. He had all of these free Pooh Shiesty. When we was riding earlier, what you was talking about, you were saying people don't want to get cheap, keep his credit. He influenced. That dread, yeah. But guess I, what though? Even his name, his nickname, Sosa, what's that come from? Scarface, a movie. Do movies influence us so much? People don't get it. You remember, and when I say movies, I'm saying film, period, music, yeah, videos, yeah, yeah, all yeah, types yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, Hot Boys had everybody want to wear Reeds and Jabos, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Hot Boys, bandanas tied around your neck, because yeah. well, that's what we were seeing. Yeah. The music influenced us too, but I just feel like that. It's something that about visual, that's something visual, about seeing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's yeah. You're right. I can't argue with you, you're right. So to, to, to piggyback off that to the last conversation we was had when I was like, you think the internet is the reason for stuff now. Now I'm asking you this, do you feel like music and movies is the reason for a lot of stuff that's going on? Yeah. 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 Double, triple, yeah. Yeah, it's a big influence. Cause like I said before, people just really do what they hear and see. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people ain't even built like how they be portraying. They get a, they get their character from a character or a real person. You know what I'm saying? They get their character. Find, you from find out your favorite rapper don't do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I be popping monsters. <laughs> Damn, they killed myself last week. I'm trying to be like Future. So I always tell people the music business, a lot of people for a long time, they ask, why you don't rapping no more? Why you start rapping? It's like, I. Being in the music business has showed me it's all a facade and like you got to be selling the dream. Yeah. You selling the dream and it's going to turn into your real reality. Like you selling the dream, but it's going to turn into real money for you. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It's, but like that, it's media period though. The media period, like it, it's just influence. Like it, it just got the biggest impact on, on people. Yeah. Like media period. So back to back to the real. The camera died yesterday. They don't know how we edited it, but the camera really died when we was really getting into a real. What, what was the last little conversation though? What was the last little part? Uh, it was about don't nobody owe you nothing. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Cause I told you I kind of I, I disagree with that a little bit. Right. Yeah. So all right, re go back, go back, guys. What you for they can for the for the people you can know. Right. So basically what I was saying was don't nobody owe you nothing. So I was saying that like a lot of people get in situations out here, you know what I'm saying? Go to jail, you know, committing crime, whatever you was doing, whether you was hustling out here, robbing, whatever you was doing. And then once you get in the jam, a lot of people become crybabies and feel like the world supposed to stop it. You... Just supposed to stop everything you doing to cater to them, but it's just like, listen, you can't take the heat, stay out the kitchen. This coming from somebody that did five years of prison myself, I didn't have a strong support system, but I never cried and was spent on like, the world owe me and everybody fake. No, maybe I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing if I ain't had bond money. You know what I'm saying? That's how I personally feel about it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like 
sometimes loyalty is a double-edged sword and like we put our we we expect to see ourselves in other people yeah if, if i gave if let's say you gave me a ride for two years straight i didn't have a car you give me a ride taking me back and forth to work i get a car now your car break down in your mind you automatically think he's got me i gave him a ride every day to back and forth to work for two years i know bro got me and then when i don't live up to your expectation that you set I'm fake. Yeah. But in real reality, I read this in the book, The Four Agreements, you know what I'm saying? Never make assumptions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't put your expectations in men because you setting yourself up for failure. I thought you was real, but at the end of the day, you probably your ears real to yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So my thing was, it was I was just saying that don't nobody owe you nothing. Whatever real or whatever good people do, it's just what they do, but don't nobody owe you unless they borrow some money from you, is what I'm saying. I really don't just all the way agree with that, but I agree with a bunch of key points you said. Right, right, right. Like, don't have, you know what I'm saying, your expectations are all that high of uh, 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 certain people, but, like, if you my brother, mm -hmm. that genuine love that we got, like, you like my real brother, so it's like, if I need you or something like that, and I ain't telling you to, shit, I feel like you obligated to help me. If you if I'm in the jam, bro, if the way we rock, you obligated to help me. You people are always say, hey, I don't owe you. I don't owe you. Yes, you do. If we say now nah, the world don't owe me or nothing, motherfuckers I don't know and I don't rock with people. Certain people, said. yeah, certain people owe you. Right. Certain people owe you, and you owe certain people. So again, like that's based off your mind frame. And what I'm saying is that's a good mind frame. A lot of people don't have no concept of loyalty in their mind frame. Yep, sure. But what I'm saying, that just means that's what your core and your principles is built off of. But again, that's you. Once you start putting that expectation on other people, you're going to find yourself constantly being let down. Yep, for sure, sure. Because you literally feeling like this is what you stand but, on. But what I'm saying is like, pretty much what I'm saying is this. Let's say if some shots go off. And I'm not saying that I agree with this concept. I'm just saying that it's a different way of looking at it. It's like if some shots go off, right? Yeah. It's you, a little girl standing right here, and somebody else standing right here. Somebody come slide down the street with a fully automatic AK-47. Everybody don't respond different to that situation. Some people yeah. gonna instantly duck for cover. Yeah. Somebody gonna try to shield the little girl. Somebody gonna use the little girl as a shield, what Nino Brown did. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Everybody's going to operate different based on what their core is made up for. So what I'm saying is when you operate based off loyalty and basically keeping it realness, people keep it with you, that's kind of what you're going to expect from people. But I feel like that's how you're going to constantly be let down because what the world is going to teach you is that the world not going to teach you, not going to keep it how you keep it. It lead me to ask you this question, you know what I mean? Because this something that been going a conversation on the internet like a while back like i don't know if you're familiar with that troy ab the tax stone situation or whatever you know what I'm saying? i remember troy ab yeah you know uh, what, what what's the situation tax stone murdered his bodyguard troy ab got shot in the process too yeah. but he ended up shooting back make a long story short to, uh, to, uh troy ab he really testified yeah. in that situation he and was, was, what, was what he said what he said uh Basically, pretty much that the streets is a myth. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, like, all these codes and stuff that everybody stand on, they only stand on the one that's convenient for them. So, with that being said, I believe we're talking about loyalty and all that. Do you feel like the streets is a myth? Pretty much what I'm saying is, like, not justify snitching in no way. Yeah. Fuck all rats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But do you feel like people use them codes when it's convenient for them? Yeah. But what it ain't convenient is for them. Yeah, especially these motherfuckers that ain't solid. So with that being said, do you feel like at some point in time, you know what I'm saying, a, a motherfucker need to just live a whole different type of lifestyle? I'm not even saying being the square, but do you think at some point in time, if you seen that, man, motherfuckers telling, because none of this shit, no, people been telling, people been snaking, they people back doing what they call it now. Yeah. This has been going on, right? But so do you feel like at some point in time it's like a motherfucker need to start falling up on the different guidelines and just living different? Man, I, you said the square, man. I, I really been... Square's all right. For sure. Square's laid up. You know what I'm saying? 
They ain't gotta worry about no bond money or goddamn lawyer fees and probably laid up in some pussy, and, you know. Square A. Square ain't gotta, you know, look over his shoulder. Right. We we move different way. Right. You know, I, I walk in the parking lot, I scan the parking lot before I get in there. I don't never pull in, I back in everywhere. You know, we just live by different shit. I be in my mirrors when I be driving. I ain't saying I can't get got it, just it's not gonna be easy. You know what I'm saying? Just certain shit, but a square ain't living like that. So, so I'm saying, just for the record, you feel like at some point in time you need to be moving different anyway? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it's uh, man, you can't be moving how you moved last year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Folks, progress, man. man. You can't be moving like, you can't be old moving like you was 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? What, what's the street, it don't, the streets don't do nothing but take. They take like the street, bro. You know, we've been in them. You know what I'm saying? The streets don't do nothing but take, bro. Take your time, take your people, your love. At what age, if you survive the streets, if you survive, at what age do you feel like you need to get out the way? That's what I'm really saying. And when I say get out the way, I mean, you know what I mean. Like doing stupid shit, putting yourself in unnecessary. I don't think it's like, I don't think it's really an age limit on it. I think it's just what, what your life give you. It's like, what life give you? You know what I'm saying? Like, once you you, you have a baby, you gotta, uh, I need to move like this now. You know what I'm saying? But it, it be kind of hard, bro, because you know, that don't mean the other side stopping. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't have the baby. You want to change, that don't mean the other side went. Like, most you know what I'm saying? No, but, most definitely. But I mean, putting yourself in an unnecessary yeah. situation. Yeah, but like, just, it, 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 it ain't no certain age limit. It ain't no age Like, I feel like if you 50 years old, you hanging out selling Dime rocks at the store, you an idiot. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But if you 15 years old and you just got your first pack, you not going to be judged like a motherfucker that's 50. For sure. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, it just what, 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 what life give you, bro. What, that's how you got to, that's how you got to determine, like, you know what I'm saying, how you live. So, you know what I'm saying, like kids, and you know what I'm saying, a woman, you got to live for certain shit or some shit, or you got something going. You know, niggas don't be wanting no beef when they really getting up some money, man. Like, when they really, I was, man, you know, I, I hung around a bunch of gangsters. We was broke. We was broke. In the, in, we was broke in the spot. Broke. Talking about a, a lick. Like, a lick. <laughs> or or, or want to just go go drill or slide or something. That's what came up. You know what I'm saying? The nigga kind of. You know, weed and stuff. I at home really kind of start getting some money. They don't be wanting that beat. So, do you feel like when it's more when it's more money going down, it's less bullshit going on? Yeah, you know, that's a certain degree. It's some people that I ain't gonna say it's gonna stop completely, right? But yeah, man, like a killer. Like man, I know you know what I'm saying. Like the little niggas that really be putting in their work, man. When the niggas run, when the little, when the little homies run across them a cool bag. Man, them niggas ain't worried about the hour. Just think about it. Everybody had that thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got the Maria Bay. Like the PPP. That's, you know, the PPP. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, it was a bunch of in the mob. Wasn't a bunch of killing going on right then. Like, especially in South Park. I can't speak for everybody else, but like in South Park, when niggas was having that bag, man, niggas went like, yeah, just, nah, that PPP era, I, I made a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. Niggas, yeah, videos, niggas, your package deals. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Pay up. So, yeah, man, if everybody, so if everybody, like, just, you know, especially the niggas, like, that's really doing the, the, the stand-up little niggas that's, that's in that shit, you know, it trickle down. So if they get in there, they got them a real bag, bro, that shit will slow down a lot, bro. It'll slow down a whole lot. Did anybody switch up on you during that PPP era? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Switched up? Yeah, yeah. more folks switching up before that anyway, though. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people switched up. See me like I don't really, get nothing that money. Though, see man. me either, and I really got a rule like if you see anybody that got any PPP money that say you fuck with me, if you ain't think about me when you had yeah. that money, don't fuck with me. They did forever. Like I'm saying, like don't fuck with me. I'm saying me. anybody break bread with the PPP wrong with you. Well, people was paying for videos. I ain't gonna lie. No, I'm not. But I'm saying break that's bread. That's I'm saying, I, I, and I'm talking about people that was really scheming. I'm not talking about real business owners. Yeah. To all you motherfuckers that was scheming, if you ain't think about me. Cause I know I keep it solid. I'm saying so. Did somebody not see ain't somebody pay for? Ain't nobody keep a it service solid. from you. Listen, ain't nobody keep it solid with me. That shit really kind of happened to me every year though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I got a, I ain't gonna say no name neither, but I got a couple of home girls every year, like the whole year, you know, they'll hit me, ask me to do stuff. And it don't just be money wise, just fee can I fee you got? Fee, fee. You know, then that tax the income tax, oh bam, they get their taxes, man. <laughs> they can go get them something off the lot, ride that hoe. Yeah, and I'm talking about I ain't yeah, I ain't hearing from them. Right. Can't catch up with you. Then they oh, that, that whole they, they eating that new restaurant. Yeah. Then that motherfucker get repoed. Right. And the nigga gave some money to flip the money. He done fucked out the pay. The nigga don't get no money the whole year round. Why would you give him some money to flip? And he don't get no money. I'm not getting no money. Yeah. But they were thinking about you though. Yeah, what they thinking about me? Then you ain't want nothing to eat. Yeah. Then you ain't you don't want to go out with us and. Nice. And and I want to say this, remember, because I want to make sure this is clear. How I was just saying to nobody, oh, you done. I ain't saying I'm obligated to nobody money, but what I'm saying is this. If I've been keeping it solid with you. So you sound a little contradictory. You right. <laughs> you sound a little contradictory. You out here. Hey, fuck it. I ain't yeah. contradicted myself. Yeah, I'm right there. Yeah. Hey, I'm a hypocrite. So, so they owe <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah, you owe me. If I really been keeping it solid with you, meaning like, you really hit me, hey, can you take me to the airport? Not even that, just material stuff. And not really look out for you when you come into a free eighty thousand dollars, a free eighty that you scam for. Yeah, I can't get nothing to eat. I'm not asking for ten thousand dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, no money. That's crazy. That's really insane. Money really is just a magnifying glass, yeah. and it just really enable you to be whoever you really are. So if you a fuck nigga, when you get a lot of money, you are gonna do a lot of fuck shit. If you a giving person, yeah. you are gonna do a lot of charity, backpack giveaways, all that type of shit. Yeah. See, look, I'm going to tell you another thing. You know, another thing I don't, I don't agree with was that, well, if you did it from the, you ain't going to throw it in my face if you did it from the heart. I bet you ain't going to mind it. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking right. Right. Bitch, you forgot. You got amnesia. Bitch, you don't forget. Hey, because it's so serious. <laughs> right. Cause I want to do somebody like that right now. Right. God damn, bro. What you think about money that makes people get amnesia? Honestly, though, like all jokes and sound like, what do you think about it when, when somebody finally get in position of really doing good for themselves? Why do you think so many people get amnesia? Because they've been wanting to do something for so long. They've been wanting to do something for so long. And then it's like, you still don't get to do everything you want to do, but like, man, I'm like, I ain't trying to, you know, cap or nothing, but like, this, this, this all fake. These be fake. Like, I hit, you know, I had got me some money before, like, like, in one good time. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was gonna have my little motion, but like, I had, you know, like a hundred thousand at one time. Um, it's like the car, the spot, and the shit you wanna do. A hundred really not nothing. Like, that shit go so fast, so you gotta think about a motherfucker, get them a dub or something, like 20,000. And they, yeah, at one time, and they just, I want to do this, want to do that, I want to do this, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, then you know, we come from nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? We come from nothing. So it's like, when you you won't, you're like, you know what I'm saying? Then a lot of motherfuckers be fumbling the bag because they want to keep up. They want to do what, they want to do what they see. Yeah, see, that's fucking the vi- We were just talking about the visual. Right. I'm saying, shit, if you, like. Now I'm saying, that's fucking off the bag. I was saying, why you think motherfuckers get amnesia and you forgot, like. Because they thinking about themselves, this is what I'm saying. Okay. They thinking about the shit that they've been wanting. So you ain't in the equation. It just hurt worse when you know that you've been silent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, when you lawyer, I ain't gonna lie. Law, I think lawyer people take the most kicks in the ass, though. People motives be so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Especially like like a pussy nigga. He can get him some money. He gonna come get the little gangsta out the neighborhood and keep him around. He ain't gonna feed him too much. He probably ain't gonna let the nigga know where he stay at. He just wants you around so you don't go fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? He just wants you, he just wants your arm ring. You know that, keep your enemies close. You ain't got to be an enemy, but you could have a potential of becoming one. So a nigga just want to kind of keep you close on the leash. You know what I'm saying? And then this nigga law you. He fuck around and really get to fucking with you, like really trusting you and having some love for you. And the whole time, your just motive is just to, I just need you to keep these niggas off my ass and I don't want you to do nothing to me. So I'm gonna feed you a little bit here and there right. instead of just, you know, really showing that same love back. You know what I'm saying? So people people be manipulating. It's, it's some fucked up people out here, bro. Well, I feel like we even gave it enough. That's how we talk. 
Shop Talk. It's Shop Talk. Episode 2. Episode FM, 2. FM, what you say? FM 156. Hey, he going to tell y'all. Look, 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 look. <laughs> hey, look, nah, nah. FM 156. 156. Yeah. If somebody gets that, we can bust something down. How much you want to give them? 500. $500. $500. I'm going to give them $500. You, you know what? $500. If it's $150, $250, $250 or $500. No, $500. $500. Oh, I'm $500. All right, $500, $500. If you can guess that, we got to give them a time limit because the motherfucker ain't going to find out next year. Yeah, it, one month. All right. 30 days. 30 if, days. If it comes, it's going to come. If it's 156, if what? you can, in your comment, if you can figure out what if it's 156 means, the meaning of that, Three thousand. Three thousand. That's a free thousand. Three. You drop your cash out after you Yeah. After you put your statement, drop your cash out, but if you write you go with the cash. And if I ain't got all the money on cash app, I'm you gonna have to pull up and get some cash to <laughs> Cash App be they be taking out Apple be take fuck Apple. But yeah, man, shop talk F M one fifty six. The free lunch committee, all that. But guess what though? I really I really wanna add this in there. To make it interesting. At the end of every episode, what we're going to do is give an unpopular opinion, something that we feel is overrated, something that we feel underrated. You want to go first or you want to go first? Okay. All right. Unpopular opinion. Uh, I feel like Dr. Dre. What about that? Beats are just so, people hold him in such a high regard, but I never really heard a Dr. Dre beat that really, like, intrigued me. Like, I'm going to tell you, like, Polo the Dawn, one beat. Throw some D's on it. That's one of the best beats I've ever heard in my life. I've never felt like that about the Dr. Dre beat. And I'm not comparing them, but I'm just saying, in my unpopular opinion, I don't see what the hype is about about Dr. Dre. That's my unpopular opinion. Something that I feel is overrated, Benny Hannes. Benny Hannes is just overrated. A motherfucker just want to eat their food, man. All that. Oh, you saying the show overrated? Just... The whole experience is overpriced and it's overrated. Like, it's not like the best food you ever taste in your life. It's just something that's okay. But it's not something that I rent out for my birthday. Okay. And then it's something that I feel like is underrated is Arby's. A lot of people sleep on Arby's. You remember when I first switched on Arby's? Yeah. Everybody in Houston was like, hey, who? I really, I really thought you was. Yeah. Who? Who? I thought you was fit. I thought you was stupid. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people today try that beef and cheddar, but I feel that like that. If you ain't had a beef and cheddar, go get one. So that's yeah, my. Put the Arby sauce on that. Put your yeah, extra Arby sauce. Yeah. Flood. Mm. Unpopular, unpopular opinion. opinion. We got going order like that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Unpopular opinion. I'm going to say. Uh, I think, uh, I like R&B music. I think, uh. Tony Braxton and Tamar Braxton. I used to watch the Braxton show. But I think Tamar Braxton sings better. She's a better vocalist than Tony Braxton. Did she look better too? Nah. Tony Braxton's bad. <laughs> yeah, nah. You ain't going that far. Tony got better songs and shit, but Tamar, uh, you know, she, she got a better, she got a better voice. Uh, what's overrated? Overrated? Steak for that. Very much so overrated. That picture that shit they be taking about that shit overrated. What's something that's underrated? I think spreads. People be really sleeping on spreads. Y'all know what spreads? If y'all know what spreads is, it's prison food. Hey, listen, we gonna make one on the show one day. Yeah, for sure. But you know, like, we're depending on where you at. This called something different. Yeah. But in Texas and California, it's a spread. Yeah. In Philly, it's a chichi. Yeah. In Detroit, Michigan, it's a cooker. All right, well, yeah, yeah, pretty food. Like, that shit right. really tastes just yeah. gonna get you full for the low. Get you full for the low. Sixteen dollars, you can feed two families. Feed a village. <laughs> Sixteen dollars worth of noodles. <laughs> yeah, but we out. Yeah. Episode two, back be gone, man.